has been, you know, a good, it's been a hot minute since my last video, you know. My goal was to post 10 videos to see what it was like to be a YouTuber. And you know, it was interesting. It was always really weird to record stuff, even though I never recorded stuff like just by myself. I always tried to do something with someone so it was somewhat interesting. But it was fun. And so, um, shout out to Molly for this, Molly. You're a real one, but you guys, um, I am going to be doing, you can call it a challenge, I guess, because I know I'm, no, I'm not going to say that I'm already going to fail, because I'm going to try my best to do this, but I want to post, today is, <coughs> today is 9-23-18, I am going to post for the next 100 days a video every single day, it might be a vlog, it might be a short clip of me just talking. It might be something different every single day. I don't know. But I want to post because in 100 days will be January 1st and I just want to do it as best I can try to post every single day. If I do it, great. If I don't, great. I'm just going to post as much as I can. Hopefully one video every day for 100 days and just see where that goes. For this video, I'm going to do it a little Q&A just to get you to know me a little better for those who don't know me very well. So, I got 25 questions, just gonna run through them quick because this video is not gonna be too long. I have terrible allergies, I feel like I'm getting sick, I can't get sick. Please, don't get sick. So, 25 questions. First, full name, Ryan Thomas Tierney. Nicknames. Um, I believe in like middle school, me and my friend Zach, you know Zach has been the videos he was zucchini and i was <laughs> i was uh ronaldo or ronaldinho one of the two they're not soccer players because i used to love soccer um also rt cool cat is one of my emails rt cool cat at hotmail.com if you want to hit me up i don't know the password for it but you can still send me emails um old texas ryan tierney the golf tournament my cousin michael uh, give me the name. Anyway, those are the three. I hate my mom is the only one that could call me Rye Rye, and I hate Rye Guy. I think that is the worst nickname for any Rye. Personally, birthday December fourth, ninety five. Height I'm five three. Full six three. Excuse me. School I went to the Texas Tech University Red Raiders. We are three and one. Don't know how. Pat Mahomes killing it in the NFL. Way better than Baker Mayfield. Um, favorite sport is to watch is basketball. To play is probably golf. To Tiger Woods just won today. Big Tiger guy. Tiger's great for golf. I love Tiger. He is the goat. Um, my favorite team. I'm a big Philadelphia sports fan. But Eagles Super Bowl champs won today. Cowboys lost. I hate the Cowboys. Not just because I like the Eagles. Because I'm from Dallas. I'm trying to go through this fast, but you get me. Eagles, Flyers, Sixers, big Sixers guy. This is since junior year of high school, so I'm not a bandwagoner. I am through and through. So all Philadelphia sports. <clears throat> Next. One thing I can't live without. I mean, I'd say my phone, but like I could live without my phone and my computer. That doesn't really count. I... This is going to be a really weird answer, but I have this pair of tennis shoes that I've had since junior year of high school. And they have holes everywhere. The sides are ripped open there. The ugliest shoes ever. But I freaking love them. I don't know if you guys said that too, where you just have a pair of shoes that you like will never throw away because they're like sentimentally joined at the hip with you. I don't know. I love those shoes, so I'm going to say that. And that's a really weird lame answer, so I'm going to think of a new one. And just come back to that question randomly. So, ca cats or dogs? Dogs all the way. I don't know what you're thinking if you have a cat. Or if you like cats. Uh, that's cool, I guess. But dogs are way better. Favorite food, including a restaurant. My favorite, like, type of food is Italian. I love Italian food. My favorite restaurant 
is there's a running joke, which is not a joke because I actually do like it, but I love Applebee's, <laughs> like nice steakhouse and stuff like that, but it's not like, oh, I crave this restaurant in particular. I mean, Chick-fil-A, I'll say Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is a solid option, and I love Jesus, which can't get better than that. Coffee or tea? Coffee, but I do like tea. I'll drink tea every now and then. Favorite meme or gif? There's this one. <laughs> There's one, um, I don't know if it's a meme, but it's a, or even a gif. It's just a video of LeBron's, like, at the free throw line, and he just, like, was, like, I'll insert it. What is your greatest achievement? Again, with Zach, junior, no, senior year of high school, we were duet acting. Uh, we won the duet acting district and regionals for like our school district and regionals like thing and then we went to state and got past the first round and we got seventh place out of eight in the final room but we beat the kid that we didn't like in his group because we were with him in the very first group he had just didn't like him but it was kind of funny because we're not actors and we made it and have a rhythm of it and it's pretty funny so Biggest inspiration would probably be my Aunt Kathy. Um, she actually passed away when I was a sophomore in high school, but she was just a fighter. She had cancer, I believe, eight times. And, you know, she just always had a smile on her face, always put others before herself, even though she was uh, just so weak and um, going through that the whole time. But she definitely has to be my biggest inspiration, just loved others so much, um, she's just so awesome, hopefully that'll change, well, that better change your hair looks great, girl. um, what is something you've always wanted to try, but been too scared to, I don't know if it's too scared, I think it's just, I haven't really been serious about it, but I'd love to go skydiving, I think that'd be super fun, uh, it's also, I think, pretty expensive, so. But yeah, I definitely want to do it. If you could know the absolute and total truth to one question, what question would you ask? Whoa. But I'd, I'd have to go with when I'm going to die. Because if you know when you're going to die, I feel like it's not scary. Like you, unless it's like <laughs> uh, November of 2018, I'd be like, uh, what? But if it's like, you know. 50 years from now, when I'm 70, whatever, you know, that would be that. But like, you can plan out your life, and I don't know, I think that'll be cool. Um, what irritates you the most? People that don't have like common manners, too, that kind of annoys me, but people that are like, I hate people that are like me. <laughs> All right, got six more. Question 20. Where would you most like to travel to? Uh, Philly. No. Um, I would love to go there one day. <laughs> Never been a big fan of their cheesesteaks and their sports. But I, I'd probably like to go, like, go through Europe and just backpack through. Spend like a whole summer there and just go, go, go. That would be really cool. Somewhere in Europe, maybe around the Mediterranean. Most like to live. I love Dallas, to be honest. Uh, North Dallas is where I'm from, and so love it here. Been to California a few times, and that's just the weather there. You cannot beat the weather here. It's so hot during the summer, but I just love, I don't know, I've lived in the same house my entire life, so. Yeah. Favorite TV show? Probably The Office. It's just a classic. I know that's a basic answer, but. It's a great show. I don't think you can, uh, don't think you can really hate on that one. Favorite book? Um, I'd go with the Bible, which that is my favorite book. It's a great book, but I'm gonna go with like a one that I read. Shout out to Olivia Garza. Um, she always raved about this book, and she's read it like a billion times. But it's called the Ragamuffin Gospel. And it makes you think and it makes you question um, your faith in a way that 
that's going to push you further. I think that's really, it's a really good book. You pick it up, read it. It's probably 15 bucks. I think was it. A store. Favorite movie. There is a uh, Meatball. <sighs> it's inside joke. Um, there is this movie. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put a picture of it in here, but it's like the Intouchables, I think is what it's called. If you could invite five people, past or present, to a dinner party, who would they be and why? Jesus, obviously. I mean, I think I have to give an example as why. That'll just be amazing. <laughs> um, let's say Harry Styles. Because, uh, I'm not going to lie, One Direction kind of banged. not going to lie. Um... And I've seen him as a solo artist, and he's very talented. Um, three more. Actually, no, I'll say Michael Jackson. Why not? Come on, Michael. Um, two more. This would be way different than any other ones, but I'd say Anne Frank. you know stuff like that and how weird that would be and then maybe like People are probably the most weird and we probably have both of our backs. Well, no, it's 9.30 and it's like 7 on the other coast, so I'm going to end it because that was all the questions I had, but I'm back, vlog dogs, you're here to stay, hopefully I'm here to stay, 100 days, 100 uploads, subscribe, root me on, um, yeah.